plans was going to be to take, there's the plumbing vent, which doesn't run outside. It was, as you can see, there's already a hole here in the floor. I was going to just drop the pipe straight down through the floor and then run it over and connect it to the gray water tank. So I was but looking at the tub and I noticed that it falls right at the back of the trailer. I've already gotten all my plumbing materials and decided, uh, let's see how I'm going to plumb this thing in. Went to look up underneath and come up underneath. That is the black water tank. And over there is the gray water tank. And it just so happens a tub is sitting right above the black water tank. Black water tank. So I'm not sure if I'm going to have room to run that pipe over to the gray water or not. Looks like there's quite a bit of insulation there, so we'll see. Another thing I noticed somebody else had shown is, if you look under the tub here, you can see there's just a board here and a board over here. And there's really just not a lot of, of support up under the middle of the tub. So I'm thinking about putting either some spray foam or something under the tub to help uh, support the middle of the tub so it, it doesn't sag as much and when you're walking around in it it'll feel a little more firm. Alright, project is moving right along. As you can see all the piping now is removed. We've opened up all that space. Ready to, and I've re-ran the uh, drainage pipe down underneath so it runs down under to the tank. The hole, I didn't uh, video what I did there, but I, I went and got a piece of heavy rubber uh, to cap the top of the tank. And then I just uh, filled it in with some of the spray foam on top. Just so happened there's a piece of the flooring up underneath there, so hopefully when I pull the tape it won't be real noticeable, but it's kind of back around the corner so it shouldn't be too bad. So the next challenge, well actually let's go back over in here and see that uh, you got that all foamed in now and I left like I said a void there so that there was a leak on the tub there and that's probably the most likely place it'd be it would drain out and not get all over the trailer. We're going to put some shark bites on the ends of these uh, this PEX tubing and I'll show you how all that goes and then uh, we're going to run it around the, the base here probably going to raise it up just off the floor as we come back along here because there's going to be a desk here and we're going to have our feet underneath it and I don't want us uh, kicking those lines and knocking them loose and bumping them around etc. Okay so when we purchased this unit there was a table right here and this is one of the benches that came off that table and what I'm going to try to do is reuse the material from that bench to make the bench for my office. And uh, just so you know, a lot of the materials I'm using, I'm just trying to reuse a lot of it. Some of that plumbing piping that ran across here, I used it up underneath the trailer. Just a little ways you can save a few dollars if you want to. And that bench, it's gonna, should match, the colors all match, so should look pretty good when we get done. One concern I do have, and I'm trying to figure out right now, is I wanna make sure that I can get back in here to my plumbing. So I'm kinda looking at how far over I need to shift that bench where I can still get into the plumbing if I need to and then I also want to put a little false door there just just because I don't like seeing it so uh, even though nobody will probably ever see it but just for aesthetics. <laughs> 